Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. In this tutorial, we are going to do a simple example to illustrate the trigger dot of new. So as I already told you, the trigger dot of new will return you the list of the new version of the records and it is only available in the before triggers and only for insert and update operations. So that is what the trigger dot new is for. So let's go ahead and do an example in which we are going to use this trigger dot new. So let's say for this products, we have an op, we have a standard object called products and uh, these are some of the existing records and these are the fields of this product object. Now let's say anytime we insert a new product, we want to make sure that this product code should have XYZ gets appended to the product code. So before you save the new record, we want to update this product code with XYZ dash. So this is what I want to do. So anytime you try to insert a new record, we will add XYZ in the beginning of that product code. So how are we going to do that? So we will first create a trigger for this object. So we're gonna go back to the setup and we are going to go ahead and look for triggers and we'll create a trigger under this products it's a new trigger and uh, let's say the name for the trigger is change the product code and it is on this object and what is the event when do you want to fire this trigger before insert so anytime a new product record gets inserted this trigger will be fired so inside of this trigger we are creating a list the, to store the products and the name for the list is product list and uh, what this list will have trigger.new so this trigger.new is going to have the new version of the records which are yet to be saved to the database so the newer version of the records this is what the trigger.new will return this product list can contain one record or it can con contain more than one record so we are assuming this product list contain more than one record so what we are going to do is we are iterating over the records available in this product list so we are going to go ahead and iterate over every record available in this product list and uh, for each of those records or each of those product records we will if the we want to make sure if the product code is not equals to null and is also not empty if the product code is not equals to blank then in that case what i want to do is i want to to append or i would not append i wanted to use xyz in front of the product code so if i'm going to say xyz dash plus then whatever the product code is so if you're so this is going to be the product code so now we're going to go ahead and hit the save button. So it's already active. So what we have here is we are iterating over. So first thing is what we're doing is we are using trigger.new. Trigger.new will give you the newer version of the records. And uh, we're iterating over this product list. And if the product is not equals to null and is also not blank, it's not blank, then we are, we are what we're doing is we are adding xyz in the beginning of that product code xyz dash in the beginning of the product code so this is what the trigger we have and this trigger will fire anytime you insert a new product record not for the existing we're not doing update we're doing an insert so anytime you insert a new product this is what's going to happen this trigger will get fired so if i go to the product and if i try to add a new product so we can say samsung refrigerator so this is the and let's say the product code is ref so this is the product code now what will happen is once you hit the save button 
automatically the trigger will get fired and if this RF REF code is not equals to null or blank then it will add this XYZ dash in the beginning of that product code. Similarly, if I go ahead and hit the new again, and the product name in this case is, let's say, uni Unix, and then the product code is UX, and then hit the save button, then automatically the trigger will get fired, and for e before the record is saved into the database, this code will, the, the XYZ dash will get added to the product code. So this is what the trigger.new will do. So trigger.new is only available for the insert and update operations and only for before triggers. And it'll return you the new version of the records. So this is an example related to trigger.new.